You mentioned earlier you really wanted to be a heel coming into New York. We really discussed WrestleMania 1 in depth in our madness behind the Mania DVD we did back in March. Post WrestleMania, the babyface turn began. What were your thoughts on that at the time? You know, where you really were, you were the top guy in WrestleMania 1, which you got on as one of the most memorable matches in the history of the business. Did you like the idea that you were going to turn face all of a sudden? No. I'd rather take in six, seven months off and give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> See, I had movie parts. I had to part in Rambo. I had to part. They flew me to New York. I met Sasha Stallone, his wife, and I met uh, Stallone's agent. Three weeks later, I flew to San Diego, met Sly Stallone, Johnny Stallone, blah, 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 took my shirt off, everything else. They wanted to see my body. They wanted to see me with a black shirt on. I did a whole deal with him. They said then, he said, you got to part. About a week later, they said I need to be in. Uh, I, he needed to get my flight information to fly to Mexico. So we were going to do the movie. It was in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Six to eight weeks. Six weeks, shoot, with a two-week extension. So I asked Vince about it. And you know that... Well, you know, this is the your gentleman. story. <laughs> How did you feel when they denied you? How different could your life have been if you take a look at what Hogan did with movies okay. and Piper and The Rock and so on what and so forth? What do you think? But you see, I was stupid. I should have just went ahead and done it. I should have done it. And he told me this. He said, you'll do the Rocky too. And Vince knew all this. Because you know they did another Rocky. Right. I had to part. May the good Lord take my life here if I'm lying and dying. I had to part. He wouldn't let me do it. He so said, twice. Huh? The twice seventh, he did that. On two occasions. Yes. But you see, I was stupid, dumb, and loyal. Mm -hmm. I stayed there. Then I get hurt there. And do you know he hasn't given me one penny since the day I got hurt there? Not one penny. And I got hurt and still worked for three months till it got to the point my arm swelled out or shriveled up to about 13 and a half inches. And I put knee pads and everything on my arms. So and I just could in walk comparison, out. how big was your other arm? This one? Yeah. Oh, God, this 19 and a half. Yeah. In that range when I was, yeah. And I got hurt in Toronto, Canada. And how did that happen? I kicked under the chin by somebody that was taking drugs. Really? Really. And then they wonder why I get mad. I get, I'm getting mad now. I don't even want to talk about it. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live.